holes. A young boy named Stanley Yelnitz is suffering from bad luck because of a curse put on his great-great-grandfather. The young boy is convicted of a crime he did not commit and is sent to a juvenile detention camp in the desert. At the camp, all the boys are forced to dig holes all day. After a while, Stanley realizes that they are digging the holes because the warden believes that there is buried treasure in the desert. When he was a boy, Stanley's grandfather, Elia Yelnitz, received a pig from Madame Zeroni. In return, Elia promised when the pig was grown, he would carry Madame Zeroni, who was missing a leg, up the mountain and sing her a song. Elia, however, fell in love and moved to America to marry his girlfriend and forgets to fulfill his promise. Because of this, Madame Zeroni cursed Elia and his family. Stanley, now at Camp Green Lake, figures out that 110 years ago, before it was a desert, Green Lake was a beautiful Texas town with a lake. In this town back then, the school teacher Catherine Barlow fell in love with Sam, the onion salesman. The town at the time was under racist laws and Sam, a black man, was not allowed to date a white woman, Catherine. Charles Walker, the richest man in town, wants to burn down the schoolhouse and kill Sam out of jealousy and for breaking the laws by dating Catherine. Catherine runs to the sheriff, but finds out the sheriff also wants to kill Sam. Catherine and Sam flee in Sam's rowboat across the lake, but before they can make it across, Sam is shot and killed. After Sam's death, it stops raining in the town and the lake dries up. Catherine, severely affected by the death of Sam, becomes an outlaw and goes by the name Kissin' Kate Barlow. She leaves a kiss with red lipstick on every man she kills. One of the men she robbed was Stanley's great-grandfather, and she buried the money somewhere in the dried-up lake. After the lake had dried up, all the townspeople moved away, and eventually what was left was turned into the juvenile camp. At the camp, Stanley becomes friends with a boy named Zero. Zero's real name is Hector Zeroni, but no one knows that. Stanley finds a lipstick with Kate Barlow's initials as he digs and begins to wonder if they are searching for her treasure. One day while they are digging, Zero runs off across the desert. Stanley, hoping to save him, runs after him. They both begin a long journey across the desert to the mountain on the other side. They have very little water and no food. Eventually, they come across Sam's old onion field on the side of the mountain, and they begin to eat onions to survive. They begin to climb up the mountain, but halfway, Zero gets too tired and Stanley has to carry him. Stanley carries him the rest of the way. When the two come down, they return to camp, and they go to search the hole where they found the lipstick case. Inside, they uncover a suitcase with Stanley Yelnit's name on it. The warden arrives and tries to take the treasure, but Stanley's lawyer arrives to announce Stanley has been set free. In the end, Stanley returns home and his family's curse is lifted, while Hector Zeroni is let out of Camp Green Lake and reunited with his mother.